guys, I'm Katie and I'm all about cosmetics, beauty and aesthetics and today we are going to talk about some overhyped products on the internet. Does it really work? Does it not? Let's get started. And the first product I would like to talk about is this uh, Bourjois Foundation Health Mix. Uh, it claims that it is anti-fatigue and radiance reveal foundation with vitamin mix, flawless, fresh and healthy looking complexion up to 24 hours hydration, non comedogenic blah, blah, blah. Well, but in reality, if you've got um, dry skin as I've got at the moment, because winter's come and Beijing is extremely, extremely dry. So it just does not work. It does not apply beautifully. It sits on the skin, especially if you apply it with a beauty blender or brush. It's just like, you know, like tragedy. If you apply it with fingers and tap it in, it looks okay. I'm worried on my skin now, but throughout the day, it just breaks up and sits on the skin, like exaggerating all the dry patches. So as for me, it's a nay. But uh, I think it would work better for a uh, useful fun uh, complexion. And if you've got an oily skin, I think it would be fine as well. But I didn't notice any hydration, like not even 24 hours, not even an hour of hydration, to be honest. So will I wear it? I don't think so. I think it's like nay for me. Next, I want to talk about Hourglass, and I've got their single palette Ambient Lightning Powder uh, in the shade Diffused Light. It looks like this, yellowish undertone. And their Trio palette um, it looks like this. This one is a Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. Both of them are yay for sure. I love them so much. Uh, you can use them underneath your foundation, underneath your makeup, or over your makeup. Both of them work well. Uh, it gives your skin such a beautiful, uh, radiant, like, glow, you know, healthy glow. And it covers your pores, smoothes the complexion out. And this one, you can also, like, brush through all of them and use at the outer corners of your face to contour it. Or this, too, you can use at the high points of your face. They're so beautiful. You cannot really tell. They just make your skin look radiant and healthy. And it also helps foundation stay the whole day long. Like it's so good. I swear but it. It's so good. Uh, let's talk about the powder by Terry. Uh, Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. My one is colorless and I think it's such a beautiful powder. I also like um, Laura Mercier one, but I think this one works even better underneath your eyes and in the T-zone. Uh, but the trick here is the little goes a long way and I truly love the puff. The puff, along with the puff, it just makes your skin airbrushed, looking awesome so smooth like you know like it smooths smooths out all the wrinkles like all the imperfections you've got like and it makes your skin look awesome i don't know uh, but some people say that it gives you a kind of a white white cast but i think if you will apply it like on the in the middle of your face it will not give you any issues and a little goes a long way as well so this to be said, this powder is a definite yay. I love it, I will use it, and I am using it. Let's talk about concealers now. People were raving about NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for a long time, and as for me, my under eye area is so dry now, and it just does not work at all, especially over the foundation. It just like emphasizes all the drawbacks, and makes my skin look really patchy and dry and I just don't like it at all you can even like work it out with um, powder or anything no it just doesn't work and today I applied it underneath my eyes and I was like wow I don't like it I don't like it I, I just like man no 
but alone it works pretty well especially if you've got an oily skin i think it would work well what it would work well um as for me i prefer using a medium coverage foundation or just like build it up underneath my eyes if i need i'm i'm just not a concealer person you know um i do not mind to hide all the imperfection all over my face it's okay it should be natural right not like a freaking kk full coverage face but it's me i don't know so for me many people still like it and i'm like no it just doesn't work for me so for me it's like nay but many people like it so it's like meh you know i'm sorry nars just mm. the next one i would like to talk about nyx and uh last time i showed you guys i bought nyx brow gel and it just doesn't do anything to be honest like i applied it like an hour ago and when you apply it i applied and then laminated brows and we're like okay it holds 10 minutes after all no effect nothing nothing at all so it just doesn't do anything like zero effect so i'm really sad about it because i, I really like nyx products and second one i'd like to talk about nyx professional makeup lip, pe lip pencil and this shade is nude beige and it's so beautiful it's so creamy stays on lips for a long time and you know my lips are weird i know like i eat up everything or it just disappears i'm sorry i have to sharpen it maybe it doesn't matter look it's so creamy and so beautiful the color is like perfect well i Wear it on my lips today, along with uh, Rare Beauty in Fearless. I will swatch it for you guys, so you will see how it goes together. I love both of them. Both of them are perfect. Long wearing, wearing for a long time, and looks just beautiful. And actually, it does not transfer, and maybe a little bit. It doesn't really transfer and stays on the lips even after you eat your lunch or whatever and also it doesn't dry lips my lips are really dry so i'm super impressed yeah rare beauty good job nyx awesome yay for me and the last but not least mascara from maybelline lash sensational full full fan effect waterproof many people were raving about it that it's so good so I had to buy it i just had to buy it and i would say uh even though the formula is waterproof it smudges throughout the day i i tried it without primer without any eyeshadows with a primer with eyeshadows it just smudges and leaves those like little black dots all over your eyelids and you have to wipe it off throughout the day it's a little bit like annoying and also because it's a waterproof formula um i expected it to apply a little better but second coat goes crumpy and i just don't like it you know for the same price tag i think you could have gotten like a better mascara well many people like it though so i i wouldn't say it's nay maybe just me i still use it on a daily basis because i just bought it like so i was like okay I, okay i will use it i will use it up but i'm not impressed i'm like hmm so 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 it's just okay you know it's just okay this is it guys these were all the products i wanted to talk about it today thank you for watching please like my video to support and subscribe see you next time have a nice day xoxo bye bye